This tutorial requires beginner skills, takes about 30 to 40 minutes to prepare and about half an hour to apply. We've used a lot of different colors of Elimorph plastic and some other stuff out there on your right. And of course, always be careful when you apply stuff close to your eyes. Now let's do this. Let's begin by creating Coraline's Dragonfly hairpin. And for that, we're gonna use red Elimorph plastic. Pour it into hot water. As the pellets turn clear, we can scoop them up. Make sure they're not too hot. Then using our fingers, we shape the body of our dragonfly. When you have a piece looking something like this, you are ready. Heading for the next step, the wings. And this time we're gonna use yellow and blue Elimorph plastic. Pour both the blue and the yellow pellets into your hand, mix them well, and then put them in the hot water. As the pellets turn clear, it's time to scoop them up. And with a little bit of kneading, we will mix the two colors together. Just like that, and as Ellie pulls it out, you see it has turned green. It will become a bit brighter as it cools off. Put it back into the hot water to make it soft, and then begin working it. We need two pairs of wings. So we split this piece in half, and roll those pieces out. Perfect. Now we heat up our red piece again. We shape the wings into a little X, just like this. And then push our soft red piece straight onto the wings. Since both the wings and the red body are soft, they will fuse together very well. You can always give them a little help on the edges. Now we need to attach a bobby pin to our dragonfly. So we fold a piece of paper and slide over a bobby pin just like that. This is just to keep the pin separated as we glue it onto our dragonfly. Apply glue, any kind of glue and then slap it straight onto the straight edge of the bobby pin, like that. As the glue has dried, we can slide out our piece of paper and boom, we have an operational hairpin in the shape of a dragonfly. Time to create the buttons for the eyes. You can of course use real buttons, but creating them ourselves gives us the option to make them as big as we want and to create the holes in them big enough to see through when we're done. So we split our black Elimorph plastic in two pieces, roll them up to two little balls, just like this, and simply push down our hand on them, effectively creating two round shapes, just like the buttons. Find any suitable tool you have to punch through the plastic and make holes. If the plastic turns too hard, just dip it in hot water again to make it easy to work with. Creating these holes might be a little bit of a struggle as the plastic tends to be elastic when it's soft. But work it and work it and work it and be sure to make the holes big enough so that you can see through the holes when they are attached to the eyes later. For our Coraline look, we want a dangling needle in the twine under her eye. So we create that needle ourselves using white Elimorph plastic. So we don't want a real needle hanging under her eye. We roll it up like this and simply fold one edge over the other there, just like that, to create a little eye of the needle. And by the way, hairpin in Swedish is Hörnål. And Dragonfly is Trollslenda. And of course, dip it in water if you need it to turn soft to be able to shape it again. And to make the needle thick in one end and thin in the other, we dip it in water and then pull it out, making it thin off to one side. This is way too long, of course, but we just use a pair of scissors and cut it off where we want it. And to keep that edge from being too sharp, just use your fingertip to round it off a bit. Back to our buttons and some twine. Just wrap it up, just like this, in whatever pattern you feel is looking good. Take your custom needle and attach it to the twine. Tie a little knot and you are good to go.
Now you're ready with the preparations and we can head on to the mirror and apply it. The shout goes to the Smo CSFX for his super crazy creations and seriously awesome SFX. Go check it out both on Facebook, Instagram and on YouTube. We start out with a little bit of shading on our cheekbones, the hairline thinning off our nose. Caroline's nose is tiny, tiny, thin, thin. Coraline's cartoony head is sort of round while Ellie's is uh, taller, so not much we can do about that really, but let's see where we can end up. And Ellie's got a very light skin tone, so to make sure her skin doesn't shine through behind the buttons, we darken down a bit around the eyes. Then with a dark brown tone and a tiny brush, we create little freckles. With our freckles in place, we give our lips a little bit of color as well, but we want to keep it fairly natural, so Ellie's using her finger to even that out a bit, to make it less punchy. Now let's prepare our hair for the wig. Now, unfortunately, we didn't have our wig cap, so we put our hair up in a little knot like that and threw on the wig. With a little bit of spray and a brush, we create a haircut that we find suitable. Something like this. Then bring out your DIY hairpin. Put it in place and go get your raincoat. Now Ellie's raincoat was white, so we actually used yellow hairspray paint to paint it white. The color we used came out again, so we didn't ruin our raincoat, but preferably use a yellow raincoat, of course. Alright, so let's finish this up and bring out a little bit of horror tone to our Coraline look. We want darkness and dark streaks coming down from underneath the buttons. So we create that using a dark brown color and then pull that color down onto our cheeks like this. Also switching to a thinner brush to get more of a teary look. Depending on how intense you want this, apply more or less color. Our eyelids are shining through a bit too much, so we pull them down a little bit using a dark brown tone. To attach the buttons, we use a skin adhesive and we use our brows and our nose as attachment points. So we apply skin adhesive to the top and the side of our button, just like this, and dab it until we get a thready consistency, because that's when the glue is fully operational. Slap it on there. Since we created the holes in the buttons very large, we can now adjust and position the buttons so that we can see through them even though they are covering our eyes. We add a little extra punch to those streaks underneath. And then we go for some runny blood coming out from underneath our eyes. You can of course expand this look with a stitched up mouth or anything like that if you want to. Otherwise, you are done. And I hope you agree with me when I say that this is the cutest thing I've seen on Ellie so far. We really hope you like this look and that you see the super great potential there is in the Ellie Morph plastic and all the stuff you can create with it. So go get yours today at ellimax.com and make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you love it. Coming up in a day or two is a super awesome zombie hunter as well as creatures from Stranger Things. Don't miss that. Be sure you subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.